Pete Carroll to move into advisor role with Seahawks. After 14 years as the Seahawks head coach, Pete Carroll will move to a role as an advisor, Seahawks chair Jody Allen announced. The Seahawks and Pete Carroll, who over the course of 14 seasons became the winningest coach in franchise history, have amicably agreed that his role will evolve from head coach to an advisor with the organization, Seahawks chair Jody Allen announced on Wednesday. After thoughtful meetings and careful consideration for the best interest of the franchise, we have amicably agreed with Pete Carroll that his role will evolve from head coach to remain with the organization as an advisor, Allen said in a statement. Pete is the winningest coach in Seahawks history, brought the city its first Super Bowl title, and created a tremendous impact over the past 14 years on the field and in the community. His expertise in leadership and building a championship culture will continue as an integral part of our organization moving forward. Pete will always be a beloved member of the Seahawks family. The move comes three days after the Seahawks finished the 2023 season with a 9-8 record, but missed the playoffs for just the fourth time in 14 seasons since Carroll and general manager John Schneider took over in 2010. Under Carroll, the Seahawks had a winning record in 11 of 14 seasons, reached the postseason 10 times and won five NFC West titles. The 2013 team became the first in franchise history to win a Super Bowl, going 13-3 in the regular season before beating the Denver Broncos, who had the highest scoring offense in NFL history, 43-8 in Super Bowl 48. Carroll took the Seahawks back to the Super Bowl the following year, making Seattle one of three teams this century to appear in consecutive Super Bowls along with New England and Kansas City. Under Carroll, the Seahawks led the NFL in scoring defense for four consecutive seasons from 2012-2015 making them the only team in the Super Bowl era to accomplish that feat. Carroll, who finishes his Seahawks coaching tenure with a 1-3-7-8-9 one regular season record, was won two coaches, along with Bill Belichick, named to the NFL's 2010s All-Decade team. Prior to coaching the Seahawks, Carroll had a lengthy career in the NFL as an assistant, defensive coordinator, and eventually head coach of both the Jets and Patriots. He then spent nine seasons at USC, building the Trojans into one of the most successful college programs in history, winning two national championships and four Rose Bowl titles. And Carroll accomplished all that he did with the Seahawks while staying true to the philosophies he solidified during his time at USC. Before he had coached a game for the Seahawks, Carroll said in 2010 that one of his goals was to disprove the notion that, you can't have fun coaching football at this level and still compete like crazy and win. If there's anything people don't understand, it's how you can enjoy it in the way that we do and still work really hard and be really disciplined. There were plenty of skeptics at the time that such an approach would work for Carroll, but he spent the next decade plus helping to build the Seahawks into one of the league's model franchises. And as much as Carroll took pride in the on-field result, he also knew that getting the best out of his teams was about a lot more than just X's and O's. A relationship-based organization, Carroll said last year, it's all based on dealing with people and seeing them for who they are trying to help them feel really comfortable in our environment. It's being conscious of really individualized evaluations and assessment, and caring, it has a tremendous amount to do with caring. We realize if we care for people and look after them, like you look after your children, then you're going to give them their best chance to be as good as they can be. Based on relationships, but it's really understanding how valuable it is to truly care for people, then making the environment as good as you can for them to challenge them as much as you can, having the highest of expectations for them, and going wherever you've got to go because if you really love somebody, you'll do whatever it takes to protect them, that's basically where it goes. General Manager John Schneider described it last year, Pete's culture is not a culture of just beating people down. It's trying to instill confidence in them and build them up when people who haven't been around Pete ask me, what would be your number one takeaway that you didn't know before working with him? I would say just his ability to instill confidence in people. He just has a very positive attitude, but he can instill confidence in people in a really quick manner. The culture Carroll helped build in Seattle helped his players thrive as both people and players, creating an environment in which players felt truly cared for rather than just being cogs in a machine. We talk about a lot of things that a lot of coaches probably wouldn't want to even touch, Seahawks legend Cliff Avril said during his playing career. A lot of coaches just want to be football coaches, I'm not worried about the things you have going on at home, type people, but he's more engaged with who you are as a person, which is pretty cool. And it's genuine, so I think it helps us overall as people, and it makes us better football players. You're allowed to be yourself.
Most other places, it's not like that.